I've heard that 204 million people live with eczema. Eczemas are of different type, but I would like to mainly emphasize the main one, which yeah. is also known as atopic eczema, atopic dermatitis. Okay. Now this is a condition which is uh, uh, which is genetic. The skin is lacking in some kind of a gene, filaggrin gene. There's some mutation of the gene. Because of that, the skin is hypersensitive. Okay. The barrier of the skin is. dysfunctional the barrier is not working in a way that it can keep the allergens and the irritants out right hence for the skin loses the ability to retain water retain moisture for a barrier and nothing better than a good medicated moisturizers now moisturizers are something for eczemas which have elements in them what your it will mimic the element what your barrier has so it might have ceramides it might have proteoglycans it might have hyaluronic acid it might have glycerin and other things hot water showers because that's normally uh, inflates whether it's a fungal infection whether it's eczema so hot water we all know dries of the skin so when you're taking a shower with a hot water it dries off your skin and eczema skin is anyways very dry and very irritated so we often advise parents lukewarm cold you can't expect but lukewarm shower there are some soap free cleansers use those and at home try to give them the environment